Hi, I'm Mary Gail King, and I am here today to talk about some of my work. This is one of my latest pieces, and I am deciding what to name it. Right now, I'm considering Deep Waters. It is obviously an abstract, so, so it's an oil painting uh, done, I would consider it an expressive piece. It's done inside out as opposed to outside in. So, what do, you, what do you mean by that? I mean, this comes from my imagination, essentially. And I have different, I pretend I'm flying through the work. You know, I, I'm very kinesthetic. So I pretend I'm diving in and kind of flying around as I do it. I enjoy playing with transitions of color that you probably can't see on camera. There are different temperatures in here that's not just black, this is not just white. There are all kinds of colors in the piece, even though it's dominant with other colors. These are part of a series that I've just started, and it's basically my post-pandemic work. That particular piece was created for a show, for a new CD release for my friend Susan Marie Reeves. What would you say inspires you? Uh, life, which I know is probably a little generalist, but um, connection to my subject, connection to uh, basically, uh, there's a philosophy that you probably can't see while I'm, <laughs> I'm like, you can't tell what I'm doing. Um, basically, I'm a kinesthetic connect connection person. What I do is I create paintings from using my whole body, connecting in a circuit with whatever my subject is and putting the visual paint on the canvas. That's my form of expression is painting. And I move whatever it is that I'm painting. I consider it through my own body and through my own interpretation from either outside in the world or within myself. As far as the different pieces, these start outside. So these are, this is still life, plein air. That one's actually imagination. They were generally done from life or on location. So that's the stepping off point for these pieces, which I do in the studio. So this one is named Ouroboros. And it's also named the alchemist because not everyone knows what Ouroboros means. It is, um, it's about the snake eating its tail. So the piece was a, um, a COVID, it basically it would never have come into being without COVID, Zoom, and a remote model named Pumpkin. So Pumpkin is a python who lives in San Diego, overlooking the San Diego Zoo. And he used to come in uh, to the studio with his reptile family, which was the name of the company. I know I've gone off into the riff, but these are real things. The reptile family are like those people that come to birthday parties with the snake. So the snake moved to San Diego. And because I've got the connection with the family and I was doing classes online, I decided to hire Pumpkin to come as a Zoom guest. And, you know, we pinned him on the screen and there were people in England, Phoenix, San Diego and Camarillo who were painting at the same time. And of course, I do demonstrations when I'm teaching painting. So I got this and put this panel on the floor and got my biggest brushes and just, if you can see the floor, that's the expression of my art form as well. <laughs> It was interesting to be able to learn how to translate the, the reality into virtual. So artists, in my experience, are used to the big pivot. You know, we live a life of sometimes isolation, of having to shift and change what we do in response to the outside world to be able to, I won't say survive, but thrive. To thrive as artists, we are constantly moving and shifting. So when the pandemic hit, we pulled back, figured out a way to connect, which again is part of my way of being, and then brought in our wonderful, magical world that we do and came up with stuff like this. I hope you enjoy my work. <laughs>